Hi, I'm Jessica Gersten, an interior decorator here in New York City. Today we're talking about dining rooms and how to pick the best table for your home. There are four rules of thumb to keep in mind when picking the right dining room table for your home. First, follow the lines of your space. If your room is more long than it is wide, pick a rectangle table. If your room is a perfect square, go with a round. Second, make sure you have 36 inches all the way around your table so that when you pull your chair out, you're not bumping into the walls or other pieces of furniture. Third, allow 24 inches, even 30, for every person sitting at your table, especially if you're at a round. Fourth, focus on function. Think about who is using the space and how it's being used. If your dining room table also serves as a craft table for your children, think about using marble, glass, or Corian top. Those surfaces don't scratch, scar, or stain. If this is your formal dining room, you probably want to use a beautifully polished wood table, which is classic and timeless. Now we're headed to Organic Modernism, one of my favorite local design stores, to check out what they have for dining room tables. The store is all about mid-century modern-inspired designs at accessible prices, which is perfect for me and for my clients. So this is the first piece I'd like to show you, Jessica. This is called our Lucia table. It's got a black Carrera top on top of a cast bronze base with a nice little design detail in there. And it's fast becoming one of our more popular pieces. Well, I can absolutely see why this is one of your more popular items. Um, I love this table because I see it working in so many New York City apartments that maybe don't have full dining rooms. It's a 48 inch round, which is perfect for four people, but you could even squeeze in a two, two more small chairs and make six. Um, and even though it's super functional for children, um, this, you're not sacrificing anything with the aesthetic because you have this beautiful forged bronze base and it's absolutely stunning. So it's both functional and beautiful. And over here we have the log table, solid walnut top, solid cast bronze legs, fast becoming our signature table. I know, remember Jimmy, I have this table. Uh, this is the slab wood free form tables that we're seeing a lot of these days. And what's amazing about these is that it brings a little bit of the earth and a little bit of nature into our urban homes. And because I have the table, I know that it takes a lot of wear and tear. And a little bit of beeswax oil spread on top keeps it fresh for a long time. And over here, we have one of our more popular sculptural waste tables. This is the Java, tempered glass top with a beautifully abstract cast bronze base. Now, as you can see, it's a combination of patina and polished bronze surface, which made me think about some of the projects you're working on, Jessica. Jimmy, you know my taste very well. I love this piece. And while it's not for every home, if you have the space for it and you love the sculptural design like I do, it would make a great statement in your home. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Well, thanks for coming by, Jessica. It's always great to have you here. So we saw a lot of great dining room tables at Organic Modernism today. But just remember, no matter where you're shopping for your tables, remember my four tips. Number one, rectangle tables for rectangle rooms, round tables for square rooms. Number two, make sure you have 36 inches of space around the table. Number three, allow 24 inches for each person seated at the table. Number four, Focus on function. Select a table based on how it will be used. Good luck and happy shopping.